proof that sine of x is all of 1. So our goal is to show that there is a constant c and n naught such that this inequality here is true. If you remember from high school, the sine graph always alternates between 1 and negative 1, just like this. So since sine of x is always less than or equal to 1 and greater than or equal to negative 1, for x in the interval from negative infinity to positive infinity, then we can find the constant c. So here, so sine of x is less than a constant c and let c equal to 1 times 1. And this one here is from this one. Okay? And then let and not, or actually, I mean x, let x not equal to 1 because we're using x not n here. So plugging in sine of 1 is approximately 0 0.84 if you put it in the calculator. So this would be 0 0.84, which is indeed less than or equal to 1. And really, the last step is the conclusion. So therefore, sine of x is all of 1 when c is equal to 1 and x not equal to 1. So that the inequality sine of x is smaller or equal to c times 1 for all x is greater than or equal to x not.